Thanks for joining us. A Dubois couple has been charged in the case of a string of robberies in Clearfield County, including one store that was hit twice. Devin Clark is live in our Clearfield County newsroom with the very latest on this. Devin. Well, Jen, they were like the modern day Bonnie and Clyde. Police say the couple's crime spree started back in August when they stole guns from a shop in Dubois. Well, they say that the couple went on to do the same thing at a Clearfield store twice. Tonight, that crime spree over the couple behind bars. Last September, Bob's Army Navy store was broken into, guns stolen twice within a week. We showed you this surveillance video at the time. Now, several months later, thanks to this footage and tips from the public, two suspects have been arrested. As a result of a joint investigation with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, the ATF, as well as uh, local and state law enforcement, Brett Moore and his wife, Nicole Moore, Moore, were identified as being responsible for the burglaries. Investigators say Nicole waited in the car while Brett broke into the stores and grabbed the guns, 23 total, most from Bob's, but the others from LB Tony's Alamo gun shop in Dubois. Investigators say the pair stole the guns to sell them and that the whole thing was drug related. If you steal firearms, criminally possess and criminally transfer firearms in violation of the law, ATF will identify you, investigate you and arrest you. These offenses are serious violations having serious penalties. The couple is now in the Clearfield County Jail facing numerous felony charges for the three burglaries. And though the investigation is not over, investigators say these arrests are a big victory for the public's safety. Preliminary hearings for the couple are set for later this month, and again, police aren't saying how many guns the couple actually sold. So if you have any information on that, you're urged to call police. Now, I spoke to Bob Grimminger. He's the owner of Bob's Army Navy. He told me in his words, I'm elated. He's happy that this case is coming to an end tonight, and he just wanted to thank everyone involved for making that possible. Reporting live from the Clearfield County Newsroom, Devin Clark, 6 News.